If you're stuck in the current coronavirus isolation, why not make one of these very useful mitre shooting boards? I've cut a base out of block board and I'm just preparing a tongue on the end to put a breadboard edge on there. Free plans for my mitre shooting board are available. More details later on. I've made a breadboard edge out of a piece of oak. I just did it on the table saw, nothing special. Keep flipping it over so that uh, you keep the tongue right in the middle of the board. Lovely snug fit, that's what we want. I'll just get that glued and then we can move on to the next part. With the breadboard edge fitted, I'm going to take a 90 degree V cutting route a bit and then route the lower track for the plane towards the edge of the breadboard end. That will produce a track that's at 45 degrees to the baseboard. Once the V-groove is prepared, I can place the plane I'm going to be using, which is a number 8, into the V-groove and then I'll know at what height I need to set the top guide rail. That will have a bevel of 45 degrees on the leading edge to seat the plane comfortably and it sits on a stout fence at the front of the board and a support fence here at the rear. I've set a tri-square off the edge of the jig so it's at right angles to the V-groove that we've just routed out and now I can place my main fence against that tri-square blade and move it up so that it's flush with the V-groove. Now we can drill through for some fixings. Shop made dowling jig makes short work of creating a strong L shaped top rail. Don't glue it, this is where we need some adjustability, so we just have it riding on the dowels and we'll have a few screws to hold it in place. Set the top rail onto the two fences, make sure it's all nicely aligned, and then we'll drill through for some fixings. I've drilled through with a smaller hole, so if we need to get the barrels out, we can just poke them through with a small screwdriver. So it's looking a lot more like a, a shooting board now. You can hear I've just got to plane that stop at the end a little bit. Now I'm just going to attach a batten on the back side of the jig that will just rest up against the bench top and stop the, the shooting ball from moving. 
and I'll just do that with some screws. Now we're ready to run in the board, which is basically making any slight corrections to the 45 degrees and planing the, the fences at the end so they provide good support for the end of the stock. So with that end grain work to do, I think I'll sharpen my blade before I start. With my newly sharpened blade, I can attack the shooting board and just clean up the ends of the fences, which are left a little bit proud. Just applying a little bevel at the back of the fence here will stop me breaking out any more material. I should have done that first. To test for squareness, I've prepared this edge nice and flat. And I'm going to square a line off with a knife just a little way in from the edge. Now, as I shoot the mitre on the corner of this board, the edge of that mitre should reach the scored line at exactly the same time at both ends. That will prove that the fence is square to the rest of the jig. And that's excellent, I'm very happy with that. If it hadn't have been squared, I could have loosened off this nut here and made perhaps a very tiny adjustment on there and tightened it up again. But to work out exactly how far it needs to go, I could have just used paper shims to shim out either this end or this end. The 45 degrees appears to be on track as well. I'll have to prepare a wider mitre first of all to double check that. If there should be any problem with the actual mitre angle I can make adjustments either by shimming the board up at one end or the other or I can make a minor adjustment to the position of the top rail and reshoot the ends again. Well I just tried the shooting board with the thickest component that I could possibly fit under the top rail and when I tried it it was very slightly out not quite 45 degrees because of the way I've built the top rail I've been able to insert some paper shims until I've got exactly 45 degrees being shot now that's not a permanent solution um, it's, it's somewhere in the region of about a third of a millimetre gap. So I'll just find something solid that I can put in there as a spacer right the way through and then I'll be sorted. And of course it gives me the option to adjust it again at a later date should anything get out of 45 degrees. Having done that, I reshot this piece and I shot a second piece and if I put those two together I can check them to make sure they add up to 90 degrees. And that's perfect. So the mitre board is all set up. Uh, there's just one more thing I want to do to it before I hang it up on the wall and that's to wax the rails. Free plans can be found by clicking on the link in the top right hand corner or following the link in the description below. So I just put a little bit of paste wax 
on the rails. And a little bit on the ends of the fences. And that's reduced the friction an awful lot and it's ready to hang up on the wall until I need it. Look after yourselves and don't forget to subscribe to see videos every day during the COVID-19 problems.